yeah. Take it all, ain't no way I could break it off. Girl, is you really down to pay the cost? Reverse the role that you can play the boss. Already know I'm a, already know I'm a business. Yo, what is going on guys, Gear here, and welcome back to an episode of the Minecraft Battleline SG, and today, I'm just gonna be talking about an event that happened to me when I was at Hershey Park, which was from October 14th through 16th, and I'm gonna be recording this video on the 16th, which is today, but it's probably not gonna be today when I'm gonna upload the video, but anyway, other than that, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick background introduction to what I'm gonna be talking about. So I'm gonna be talking about Hershey Park, so I went to Hershey Park with my Boy Scout troop, which I'm not gonna tell you guys the uh, zip code number because that's just kind of creepy. But I went to the trip with my Boy Scouts people, kids. And since I went with a Boy Scout troop, we had a discount for the price. Instead of paying 57 bucks for one day, we paid, um, I think it was, yeah, 40 bucks each person, which is actually a pretty good deal from the 50 bucks you gotta pay instead. But actually 57 so that's like $17 discount thing that's a, a lot of, if you are thinking about your math but um pretty much I went with the Boy Scout troop and we had a lot of fun there you know we went to many parks and stuff like that I could barely see this guy holy crap how did you see oh snap I got him wait did he have oh yeah that guy isn't Oh, Snappy got pretty Gucci armor. Okay. Alright, let's go get this kid right here. Okay, he's ED Gamer. ELO Gamer. Alright, let's go. Let's go. But, um, all of a sudden, so, well, one day, while we were in a trip, r right after we finished going on the Hershey Park rides, I went on a lot of them, but not all of them, because we didn't have enough time, even though I had, we had 12 hours to spend our day at Hershey Park, I still didn't have enough time to ride all rides because there was also obviously a line and most of the lines took around 15 minutes to 30 minutes so that's a pretty long but anyway when we came back from Hershey Park we went to our camping grounds which we were cr created like the scoutmaster known as the teachers or you can say the adults they are the con in control of this um you know trip camp out so we were camping outside when it was like literally 50 degrees and it's super freaking cold when I was sleeping so yeah we had a lot of sleeping problems but it's not that bad so each tent had around like five or six people and my people were pretty around my age 11 through 12 or well, technically 16 there's one 16 year old against the other all of the rest of the people in our tent which is like 12 11 to 13 so it's not that many old people you know we don't need old people in our tents because we're savages but all of a sudden, when we were sleeping, we were trying to sleep, and I told you, mentioned before, that it was super cold. When we were trying to sleep, we couldn't sleep. So we all woke up, literally, this is super weird, but we all woke up at the same exact second, but no, I don't think about, I don't think the milliseconds would count, but we woke up literally at the same exact time, technically, and we all smelled gasoline leaking. So it was really weird, we all became dizzy, like, in fact of like 10 seconds we all became dizzy at the same time we all asked each other what you felt and everyone felt the same type of dizziness like i don't know a lot of people say it's just because we ate too much sugar because it is hershey park so i did eat a lot of sugar before i went to sleep which isn't a good idea but that's what i did and that's probably one of the reasons why i had like a sugar i probably had a sugar rush but a lot of people said that they all had the same thing, and some of them didn't even eat sugar, so they're like, um, you sure it's a sugar uh, rush? Because I didn't even eat sugar at all today, like candy at least. Uh, obviously, every food has sugar, but I didn't eat any candy at all. And this guy said that he has the same feeling, so it was really weird. Oh, I'm going to get this guy, and it was really weird, and we couldn't really figure out what's happening. So we went, a guy, well, the 16-year-old, he's also... Known as like a mini scoutmaster, troop leader. Yeah, troop leader. We have a lot of troops and groups as well. And so he told the parents about the, you know, what we felt and stuff. And the parents, you know, they used to be uh, Boy Scouts, so they know how we feel and things like that about the camp out. And it's creeps, because then um, suddenly just the patrol guy, the 16 year old guy, he told everyone. Um, the scouts masters that 
we were all were really cold and he was talking about all the clowns what if it was the clowns and then he he was really annoyed because and so were all of us because clowns is really annoying and it just freaks everyone out so when we were trying to sleep one well, trip so the scoutmasters literally just went outside around the campground and they didn't call 911 because it wasn't that serious because they might they kind of thought that ish that we were pulling a prank but we wouldn't be pulling a prank if we were about to call 911 so it was actually serious you guys might be thinking it's someone, like one of those videos that I'm saying like yo it's just a joke it's actually not a joke um it was serious and it's actually not some something good so Okay, I'm gonna take on this guy real quick. I'm not really over commentating, so. But should I just. Uh, this guy's gonna FNS me. I just see his FNS in his hand. Okay, got one shot. Got two shots. Oh, I missed that shot. Dang it, he moved. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Right, let's, let's get this guy right here. Oh, this. Wait, what? The lag. It's real. Okay, let's get this bow shot. Come on, one more. Nope, okay. I, I kind of suck at the bow, but... You know, he told everyone, and n none of... Suddenly, for some reason, it was just... We figured out it was just our tent that had the problem, so it was really, like... I don't know, It's it was super spooky at that moment when we noticed that it was just our tent. So, we're like, maybe the clowns are just, like, stalking us or something like that. Well, maybe the clowns were the first target for the clowns, and I don't know why I'm scaring you guys with the clown stuff, but it is true, so well, the clowns might not be true, but they were complaining. Everyone's complaining about the clowns and stuff, and it's really, it does annoy me too, I'm not gonna lie, and you know, I just sticked with it, and I decided to, you know what, we're just gonna stick with this today. And this hopefully we don't oh GG <laughs> nice <laughs> hopefully that we don't get nightmares and everyone so we all went back to sleep and I still had this f f frozen f f f frozen moment that when I was sleeping it took me like literally almost two and a half hours this never happens it took me two and a half hours to get to sleep because I was I kept on thinking about the clown thing and if they were outside because there's this thing the next thing that happened after everyone went back to sleep. There's no gasoline, so we made sure, and we thought it was the hand warmers, because they were also in our tent, and it kind of got hot really fast, so we decided to, like, throw it outside. We all thought, someone brought up the idea of that it was, like, on fire, so we were like, I don't think hand warmers are flammable. I mean, if they are, let's, we might want to throw them outside before we, like, die or something like that. It's going to be creepy, so everyone, it wasn't just me, everyone in our tent at least couldn't sleep and it took us forever so then while we were sleeping like five seconds later there's this real weird sound this is a holy crap like i was like just dead on serious i was gonna cry but not really cry but like internally i was gonna cry because i was like oh no great this isn't gonna seems like it is the clowns now because we heard this beep thing it said it was like <laughs> So it was like this clown sound, you know, it's like, oh snap. We heard a little like one second time cl clown sound. It sounds like a clown that was laughing like around us, not the Hunter tent group. It's just us. So it's like, hopefully it has nothing to do with me because if it does, I'm, I am going to be screwed. I'm probably not even going to be able to make this YouTube video before the clowns even notice. And we were like, oh, this isn't good, because it's most likely we have like a 99.99 percentage of it being a clown, since the fact that it took us such a long time. Wait, why is this guy lagging? Oh, snap. Probably got a weapon. Oh, great. Okay, no, he didn't. I don't know. Should be holding out the weapon. Okay, he's going to kill that other guy, I think. All right, all right, all right, bro. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Got me that for a bow but then we heard this <laughs> sound it was really really creepy not lying at all and so that made us suspicious made us think that it was most likely the clowns that were up to this and that we shouldn't be like l at late this night because it was like at literally 
I think it was like 3 a.m. in the morning this happened and it was everyone almost pretty much we almost woke pretty much everyone up and that isn't a good thing to do because everyone was like sleeping and snoring while we were just you know just chilling we were about to get wrecked by the clowns and then even the 15 year old or 16 year old in our scouts even he also were he was like almost crying he's like yo guys we need to chill there's no such thing as a clowns, but then someone else mentions, <gasps> ah, it's the clowns! And then everyone just freaks out, like, oh, snap, we're screwed. And then, yeah, that's pretty much most of the story. Um, we don't really know what happened, like, what truly happened. Maybe the clowns, maybe it was fake, but we actually don't know if it was the legit clowns or not. And this does creep people, a lot of people out, but... Seems like it's just, you know, something in their fake clown story that just s suddenly just happens to be here while I was at the Hershey trip. Anyway, um, I was at the Hershey trip for three days and, well, two nights and three days, but it's actually a really good trip overall. I really liked it, except the clown part. It was really freaking me out. I was like, this is my last day of my life. Well, rip me. And I'm like, oh, I'm back. Ding. Okay, it's a good thing I had... Good luck there, otherwise it could have got screwed by clowns and stuff. And even though I don't believe clowns still, a lot of people have reported be clowns murdering people. I never really seen a clown in my life. We didn't see the clown at the camping trip, so that's a good thing, because if we did, we all know that we're screwed. And I heard my friends say that clowns are twice, they're like two humans combined, so their, their arms are twice as long, their bodies are twice as big, and... You know, their, their speed is twice as much. Or I should say, how fast they run. They run like 80 miles per hour. I'm like, uh, you sure this is true facts? 